Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and this is Sam Thing To Do where every week we come up with tips and tutorials on all things adulting. So last time I posted a video on an audiobook hack for Apple devices like iPad, iPhone, and MacBooks. Today I'll be doing that tutorial for Android users. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it now. Okay, so I'm going to be using my mom's Samsung phone. It's an old one, so it doesn't have a screen recording feature. So that's why I'm recording this with my iPhone. Okay, so open the phone. Go to your settings. Okay, so once you're in your settings, you scroll down and you look for accessibility. There it is. So just click that and you scroll again and you look for select to speak and you turn that on and okay okay so once you turn that on there is going to be a button at the bottom right corner and that will allow you to play the text that's on your screen so when you play it it will read everything and you can click this to skip or to go back when select to speak is on, you can, tap you can pause it and stop to stop everything. So in order to read your PDFs or your books, you open your PDF reader. Okay, so you have to make sure that the page at the top is the page that you want to read. Because if it's like this, that you still see a part of the other page, when you open it like this, and press play it's gonna read the previous page okay so you click stop and just scroll that up there so you don't see the previous page anymore and it should read the introduction there Okay, so it's not super seamless um, because it's just a reader but you can also open this and go to the text-to-speech settings and choose which text-to-speech settings you want to use so right now I'm using Google because I just prefer that and you can tap on that for settings and you can also install other voice data so if you want different languages, like for example, um, Japanese, Korean, you can install it here. And that's it. It honestly works better on PDFs rather than Kindle books. So I would suggest using it on PDFs more. And there, thank you for watching this video. If you're looking for videos on how to do this for an iPhone, I have a separate video for that. If you found this video useful, please, please, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you again next week.